money because I, I want to get a couple of the big good greens. Nice. Ooh, hello. Asshole. I don't know if you have squirrels or groundhogs. You're just annoying as fuck. That's what you are. And now you're hurting my my teammates. What the fuck? Rude. Finish them. Why did you heal me? The confusion is high. Yeah. That's how it's done. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. What's this? Do that little dance. Tails waggle. Walk. Receive the Chocomog materia. God, I love them. They're so adorable. How could you not love a Chocobo? Like, they're the best. Yeah, uh, they get up crossing the marshes. Yeah. Hmm, it'll be probably be better and safer for you to get a chocobo. Yeah. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolum. Midgar Zolum. It's a serpent-like creature. Over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then blam! It attacks. You avoid that by a chocobo at Ming Cho Choco Belize Chocobo Farm. To purchase a chocobo, please go talk to my grandson. He's in the stables at the far right end of the farm. Can I please sleep? Yeah. Huh. <sighs> but um. We're all good. Let's get ourselves a chocobo and all that good shit. I could, like I said, I could swear there was a save point in the farm. But there probably isn't because, like, we can walk out of the farm to save. Which I'm gonna do really quick. Just because, again, I'm just, like, you know, so paranoid. You know, I can actually just erase this one at some point. <laughs> We got the Chocobo and Moogle summon, which we can equip to... We'll, we'll, we'll put it on Tifa, because why the fuck not? Um, um. Just curious. Okay, there is no save point down here, okay. You, hey, 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 you. Do you want? <clears throat> Do you want a chocobo? Give me one. <laughs> you old fucks, folks are out of luck. Old folks, we're all out of chocobos. I'm ta I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. 
want to know how to get Chocobo? Um, mm. Well then, shall we get down to business? I already know how to do this. I'll sell you the Chocobo Lure for 2k gil right now. You wanna buy it? Yeah. That wouldn't hurt to get, buy some greens either. Oh, and how fast Chocobo will finish eating depends on what type of greens you feed them. Yeah, I'm not that shocked. And they're gonna be expensive as shit, aren't they? Dun, dun, dun. How much can I sell my fucking tent for? 3 of these, two, 2 of those, and 1 of those, because you're going to be a pain in my ass. Item, range, battle, oops. Where are the other ones? Customize. Greens we'll put up here. Where's the other greens? There it is. Put them first so I can get to them quickly. <clears throat> Alright. Let's leave the farm. Put on the materia. We'll put on the barret because. He don't care. <laughs> there we go. Mike, come on. Look at a chocobo. Let's throw some greens at it. Kill those things quickly. No, damn it. Fucking hell. I hate catching chocobos. If it runs away, it should automatically not throw the green. Like, it should be like Tifa. There's no chocobos around. I'm not gonna throw it. Quickly run back in there. We need to buy a few more greens. I hate how, like, you need to pay for this stuff and it's all based on luck. Kid's an ass. Mm. I think it's the quietest I've seen you in any of my streams, Adrian. Are you like drawing again?
You're listening and laughing a lot. Well, at least you're paying attention, at least. We got a chocobo. Sweet. Okay. Right in the chocobo, right in the chocobo. Oh, fuck, no, 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 go away. No, fuck you. And that is terrifyingly just... Ugh. Did Sephiroth do this? This Sephiroth guy is pretty strong, I'd say. Amazing. Yeah. That's the word you want to go with? Amaze? Okay. Let's go with the word amazing, yeah. Totally gonna go with amazing. I was thinking more like terrifying. He's funny much shish kebabbed a giant snake to a tree. Just putting that out there. Giant 30 foot snake to a tree! Like, can I stress that enough? I cannot stress that enough. Oh, hello. Not just do that to me, you jackass. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. Couldn't steal anything, okay. And you fucker flamethrower me. That's just rude. Stop spitting hot fire at me. Beat brush. I gotta switch Barrett for Red 13. This, the remake. Um, this is not the remake, this is the one on Steam. I just added some graphic mods to make the, um, character models look a little bit better, because I personally can't stand the original models. The remake is not out yet. <laughs> I cannot wait for it to be out, but it is not, sadly. Uh, items. Welcome to the stream, though. Hopefully you're having a good time. Hopefully you're having a good day, or time zone, wherever you are. See, I feel bad saying it's modded because I didn't change the game. All I did was change, like, a few aesthetic things. Oh, you were joking? Okay, I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't sure because I know some people actually aren't aware when it comes out. So I'm like, you know, on the off chance you aren't sure, I don't want to be an asshole and treat you like an idiot. Because you aren't. You just, you know, you kept in your fall upon a stream. How are you supposed to know? Child breath. Still, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I know I said that before. Say it twice because I can. So I really feel bad saying like this is modded because all I did was change like the character models. And even then, it's like not all of them. It's just like a few of them. Modding is essentially anything that alters the game. Mods don't have to be cheating if that is what you're so No, I don't associate the term with like cheating. I associate it with like actually altering the game and like 
For me, I would say, like, what I do is more of a texture pack related thing, seeing as, like, I look at it from a Minecraft, Minecraft perspective, where modding changes the experience of the game. Like, you're adding in um, things that didn't belong there. All I did was retexture, retextured something, which I would associate with no different than having, like, you know, certain texture packs in Minecraft. I don't consider that modding. I consider that just changing the, um, you know, aesthetic. But it, it really depends on your perspective and what the word mod means. So, to each their own. As long as you enjoy the game, who cares? Seeing as a lot of people can't grasp that. But yeah, I know, I, I agree with you. Any changing technically does fall under the term modding. 